So today's video is going to be a little bit different because it's an actual guitar tutorial. Yeah. Basically, lately I've been recording myself playing a lot more and it's kind of hard. But one of the things I found to be like especially hard is recording the acoustic. Like sometimes you'll do recording and in person it'll sound great. But then when you listen back, it just kind of sounds like empty. So yeah, I've been trying to perfect it. Um, and... I have. No, it's not perfect because, you know, it is in a bedroom, but it's also really easy to just use that stuff as an excuse and be like, it's not me. But it turns out that just a little bit of money and a little oh. bit of effort can go a very long way and you can get a pretty decent sound without like too much hassle. So today I just want to share with you some of the stuff that I've picked up on the best way to record acoustic guitar affordably. So as Corey always says, the most important thing is getting a good performance because if the performance isn't good, it, it won't be good. So the number one thing you can do to ensure that you get a good performance is practice. Like sometimes you think you're ready to record a song and you're not. Like you want to know the song like the back of your hand. Because if you're still like getting through it while recording, recording is going to be rough. But that's also hard. So a couple easier things you can do to just get a better sound right away is to change up your strings and make sure they're in tune. <clears throat> also, to borrow one from Santana's masterclass, it's important to be confident. That's not what he sounds like. But it's true. It also usually helps to play while sitting down because you keep a more consistent distance from the microphone. But also, people just generally play better when they're sitting. But if you feel more comfortable standing up, then you do you. Now onto the meat and potatoes, or the, the mics, the microphones. What microphone should you use? Good question. Without getting too specific, there are four options. Number one is if you're going for a really lo-fi aesthetic and like you're shooting a video. Just use your camera audio. It's actually pretty big right now. So excited. Also, if you're using your camera, then because you're also filming yourself, it has to be set up at like a good distance to film yourself. And that distance is probably about the same as it would be if someone was sitting in the same room as you. And that comes through in the audio. Like when you're listening, it sounds a lot like you're just sitting in the same room as the person, but also like you have really bad hearing because you have camera ears. Number two is DI. So DI is what it sounds like. It's where you plug your acoustic directly into your computer and then it records your playing using the pickup. So what you need to do that is an electric acoustic, a guitar aux, and an interface. This is option three. So there are two types of microphones. You have dynamic and you have condenser. Dynamic microphones are more typically used for live performances because they capture audio from a smaller proximity. So like if you move it further away from the audio source, like it quickly becomes quieter. And because of that, it's also good for recording multiple instruments in the same room because it won't generally pick up too much of the other instruments. And another benefit of dynamic microphones is if your room's not that well treated for recording, it doesn't matter because it doesn't pick up that much room sound. But the thing is, bedrooms are pretty good for recording because they're generally pretty small and they're filled with furniture like a bed and pillows. So yeah, with all that said, if your room's treated for recording, then your best option is a condenser mic. The ideal recording would be completely flat and extremely detailed. And with a dynamic mic, you get the flatness, but you might lose some detail. So in a well-treated room, a bedroom, with a condenser mic is perfect. Now, full disclosure, before I plug this mic, pun intended, they did send it to me for free, but they didn't pay me. It's just a genuinely really good product, and it's extremely affordable. I used to use the Blue Snowball. Now I prefer this one, because it has a better sound. It's the Fifine K670. But yeah, now that you have your mic, where should you put it? Um, good question. It's a bit of a topic of debate, and it's up to experimentation, especially depending on what sound you want. But the general consensus is to keep the microphone about a foot away from your guitar in line with the 12th fret. Bonus tip, learn about EQ and how to mess around with EQ to bring out the best sound in your guitar. You can also use presets. And that's it. It does take a lot of experimentation to figure out how to do it right for you. Listening to someone talk about something and actually doing it are very different things. So the best thing you can really do is just get out there and try for yourself. And yeah, have fun and be yourself. Oh